Hey everyone, Greta here. So, welcome to today's episode、um, the 300 hour teacher training. When should I take it? Or actually, do I need to take it? So, today we will be again dividing this chat into several segments.、Uh, first, explaining what is this 300 hour teacher training is all about.、Um, what kinds are there out there?、Um, do I need it? Or actually, when do I need it? Or Yeah, when should I、um, take it? Am I ready for it? And also, my personal、uh, point of view regarding this、uh, 300 hour teacher training thing. Before we talk any further, I just want to share with you a bit of my background info.、Um, I am a 500 hour teacher, yoga teacher, and also, so that means that I have the 300 hour、uh, training already.、Um, Uh, in my record, but the 300 hour teacher training that I did is a little bit different from、um, what you normally see、uh, or what's normally available or the normal trend that the people are taking. So I will explain a little bit more when we get into that topic. Okay, so what is this 300 hour teacher training thing? So the 300 hour teacher training is more like a continuing education.、Um, it's Kind of set by the Yoga Alliance in the US. So it's just to kind of differentiate different levels of teacher. You know,、um, if you have more hours of、uh, training, that means that you are more experienced,、um, textbook format.、Uh, so that is why. So、um, we all know that the 200 hour teacher training. If you don't know now, you know uh, that um, it's kind of like the foundation. So, let's say you want to become a yoga teacher and you want to take a teacher training, okay?、Um, then you would go for 200 hour teacher training. Mind you, you don't have to take a 200 hour training in order to become a yoga teacher. But then,、um, you know, there,、uh, if you take any alternative ways, unless it's, you know,、um, it's, 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 Granted by a particular lineage that is recognized, then it might be more challenging, it might be more difficult to actually、uh, go and teach yoga without any certification. Yeah, and it's just that there's like a flooding amount of yoga teachers out there. So,、um, having a 200 hour teacher training certificate is just an easier way to prove that you have received proper education and formal training to become a yoga teacher. Anyway, so after the 200 hour foundational teacher training,、um, then if you want to become a 500 hour、uh, yoga teacher, then you will need to take a 300 hour additional training and add that, add, that, add that on top of the 200 hour that you already have, and boom, you get the 500 hours. So that's it. Okay, so if you see、um, teachers out there who are 800 hours, 1,000 hours, then to my understanding, you just keep adding on to、um, the existing number of hours that you already have, and you will get to a higher number. Okay, and that is how you get the、um, 500 hour teacher,、um, and that is based on a 300 hour teacher training program that you、um, have taken. Okay, so hope that is clear.、Uh, so, that is why、um, some people might ask why are there like 200 hour teacher trainings and 300 hour teacher training. So,、um, again, don't take a 300 hour teacher training if you haven't done 200, okay? Because it'll be too confusing for you. You will be very, very、um, overwhelmed. And apologies for those ground sounds in the background. That's just my dogs. <laughs> Okay, so、um, now we're clear of why there is a 300 hour teacher training.、Uh, let's talk about the different kinds of 300 hour teacher trainings. I've been asked a lot、um, about this. So、um, people ask me about the referrals, like who to take,、uh, you know, what to take, and all that. And、um, my answer is I don't know because、uh, unlike the 200 hour,、um, where it's Um, the syllabus is more or less the same. I mean, some trainings do have an emphasis on certain areas while others have different focuses. But、um, the 200 hour、um, the categories covered are very similar. Whereas for 300 hours, because it is a continuing education, so、um, it's more broad. 
and that leads to the different kinds of 300 hour teacher trainings out there and also that will also lead to um you know how, how i took mine to become a 500 hour teacher so there are a type of the 300 hour teacher training where it's all set for you so you just need to take everything just need to commit to that program and it will be given to you and you just take the syllabus take all the classes and that's it so that is a more fixed way of learning and there's also another way is um, different modules so there will be some modules where it's uh, compulsory that you must take okay and then some will be elective so let's say there will be like a few um, dozens of hours maybe including maybe up to 100 hours where it's compulsory that you have to take these and then the rest of the hours you just need to take I don't know how many and then you just add up at all those other electives up and you come up with your 300 hour teacher training and why is that it's because um, I mean different individuals have different interests uh, when it comes to 300 hours and also um, there are a lot of online trainings available now so that is why you can this this option is available where you can take different elective different modules to add up to your 300 hour and as i said because 300 hours is actually a continuing education um, so as long as you take all the trainings under the same school that could add up to 300 hours and you can get your 300 hour teacher training certificate and that is how i got mine so when i was um, continuing taking all those trainings after my 200 hour, I had absolutely no intention whatsoever to do a formal, quote unquote, 300 hour teacher training. So what I did was um, after my 200 hours, I did a 100 hour training on pre and postnatal yoga, mindful birth. Um, and I thought that was really interesting. And then after that, about a year and a half later, I did a 100 hour of training on yoga therapy under the same school, okay? And that was really cool too. And then I guess about a year, I guess, uh, later, I did another 100 hour of training under the same yoga school on a different topic, more on philosophy and the science of pain. Um, and then because all those separate 100 hour trainings I did under the same school and that's a school in um, Australia called Yoga Space um, and that's how I got my 300 hours I never knew about that until uh, near the end of my last uh, the third training uh, my teacher asked me to remind her to send, uh, to get to give me my certificate so that I can apply to uh, YA for my 500 hour uh, uh, recognition that I knew. So yeah, so if let's say you are doing a lot of different trainings and it's the same yoga school and all those trainings are considered continuing education, that's also very important. Not all trainings under the same yoga school are continuing education. So you must need to be clear of that. And then after you take all the trainings, you just kind of pluck the numbers into YA and then boom, and you get, you know, if you if you come up with like 300 hours and boom, you get, you know, your 500 and that's it. Okay, so yeah, it's a little bit confusing. So that's why some people, you know, because it's so broad. Um, so that's why for people who have received this 300 hour teacher training, um, their knowledge and their experience could differ a lot. So um, yeah, um, I didn't do any of those trainings for like really advanced yoga shapes, you know, that are so popular nowadays, stuff like that. So it's more on different areas of yoga training and, um, and, um, and yoga knowledge. Okay, so when are you ready? Okay, and I think um, nowadays, I mean, okay, this is a very, very, um, I guess it gets really tricky, you know. Um, I guess it's the title inflation nowadays. Like again, there's like floods of yoga teachers out there. So 
basically almost everyone is a two hundred hour teacher already. So how do you make yourself stand out? Uh, one very traditional way, or uh, to just kind of show it to the outside world,、um, is that you have more training, you know, and that will make you more experienced. But is that really so? You know.、Um, For me, a three hundred hour teacher training is not a must. That's how I see it.、Um, it don't be so concerned with the numbers. Like I need to be like I need to look more professional by having more training stuff like that. You will actually want to do it because you want to do it because it interests you.、Um, having Two hundred hour, three hundred hours, five hundred hours, a thousand hours of training.、Um, it doesn't really mean anything if you don't go out and teach real bodies, because all the trainings that you received are experiences by other people. But every body is unique. You no. Know,、um, Even with a lot of trainings that I have done, they were really, really amazing trainings. A lot of times, I need to figure out how to teach on my own. I need to be creative. I need to be observant, and I need to really teach on the level of the practitioner needs to be received, and not what I want to teach. And that is learned by experience. Um, kind of like Patel B. Joyce said, you know, yoga is one percent theory, ninety nine percent practice, and don't lose your own yoga practice. Okay, yeah, it doesn't have to be, you know, the same throughout every day.、Um, it might change, it will change. Not every day it will be an asana practice, you know, and not every day it will be like ninety minutes, two hours, and on even an hour. But you need to keep that practice, that mindfulness practice. In order to to know how to teach,、um, yeah, because、um, you know, looking through IG profiles, you see, okay, this person's two hundred, that person's five hundred, that person's five hundred, this person's like a thousand. It could get intimidating, but then ultimately, what you learn from the textbooks is just one layer. Okay, it's nothing if you cannot. Interpret what you learn into your teachings, and a lot of times, even when you go out and teach, even with a lot of experience, a lot of experience teaching experience already, when you go out and teach a class that you think oh you know it's very basic, you know you know off the bat what to do stuff like that, there is always an opportunity to learn something new, and there's always a chance. To challenge yourself, for you to evolve, because yoga to me is very three dimensional. It's not just textbook. I mean, I'm not. I'm not saying that you know you don't need it. I mean, it's great. But then you have to be smart. You have to choose wisely, because it is also very very expensive. Okay, expensive in terms of money, time, energy, you know, effort. It's a lot. It's huge. So that's why you, if you do want to take a three hundred hour teacher training, you have to do your research. And of course, you know asking around is good, but I would strongly recommend you to go and、uh, take a class, take at least like a week's class with that particular teacher, and to if that teacher teaches more than one style, one type of class, take everything, and just see. How that teacher resonates with you, and that's very, very important. And also moving on to this, um, three hundred hour teacher training, I have actually had people asking me if they are ready. The question is, I don't know, you know, and I don't want anyone to, any teachers out there, any young or like two hundred hour teacher trainings out there, to be persuaded. By any out external voice that they already、um, just want to share with you and 
a encounter that I had and I thought that's just wrong um, a student came up to me and asked me about you know uh, this 200 hour teacher training of another teacher and I was like I don't know about that um, and that and the student said oh because that teacher told them that they were ready for the 300 hour teacher training and first of all I didn't even know that that particular student had 200 hours <laughs> then I then I knew he then I found out and I was like okay um why like why would your teacher tell you that have you been you know practicing with that teacher for a very long time and have they been to your classes and the student said um the teacher hadn't been to any of their classes. In fact, the student hadn't been teaching very frequently. And also, um, the student hadn't really been a regular practitioner to the teachers. So I'm like, so based on what context would the teacher tell you that you are ready for the 300 hour teacher training? And the student paused and said, yeah, I was thinking about the same. I'm like, yeah, so don't. And then the student was like, but that teacher's like, you know, keeps on telling me that I'm ready and I feel kind of bad for not taking it. I'm like, uh, my answer would be no. Because I don't want to say this, but again, teacher trainings are expensive. It's a good way to run a studio and to keep the studio running. Okay. And... Um, having someone come up to a young teacher and tell them that they're ready sounds very empowering but then I think deep down inside the young teacher should also take a moment and pause you know, do you really need it? and why do you need it? so that's it for my sharing for today and no, I do not plan on hosting any teacher training, 200 hours, 300 hours, five, whatever. I will be doing um, a guest teacher appearance in uh, you know, one of my friend's teacher trainings, but that's it, just a guest teacher. So no, don't need to ask me. Answer is no, I don't plan on doing any teacher trainings for the next three to five years. Yeah, if not forever. <laughs> All right, thanks for uh, listening. Um, so take it easy.